guys, so today I want to share with you a recipe of how to make raw chocolate and orange balls. Um, so hopefully it will be really, really simple for you to follow and something you can do at home, like a little snack when you need it. So basically, first of all, hopefully you've got yourself a food processor. Um, so I've got myself some dates, they already pitted, so no stones in them. So I've got 120 grams of dates going in, and they're really good at naturally sweetening um, this snack without having to add any sugar. I've then got some walnuts. So I'm going to put in 90 grams of walnuts. So nuts are really, really good for adding a bit of protein into these snacks. Um, so obviously dates can still have an impact on our blood sugar levels. Um, so nuts and the proteins in them help to balance out the curves and, and stops you from getting that real dip once you've had something sugary. Um, so I'm also going to put in some almonds. So I've got 170 grams of almonds. I feel like I might need a bigger processor, but we'll see how it goes. So I've got all of those in. Um, so they're chocolate orange, so we're going to need some orange. So I've got myself two here, but you're only going to need juice from one of them. They look so pretty. And um, so juice from one. I love chocolate orange, it's like my favourite ever flavour. So hopefully, these are a trial for me as well, so I'm not 100% sure how they're going to turn out. But hopefully, they'll be really, really tasty. So juice from one whole orange. I'm just going to pour that into the mix. That smells really, really fresh. Um, and then also, we're going to need some orange rind. So once you've got your rind from your orange, um, add that to the mixture as well. Um, just to add that lovely natural orangey flavours. Um, and then we need to add the chocolate. So I've got cacao, which is basically raw cocoa. Um, so it isn't processed, so it holds all of the antioxidants, which are really, really great for us. Um, you can use cocoa powder instead, but obviously this won't have as many um, nutritional benefits to it. So if you can, get some cacao. So I'll add that to the mixture as well. And just to then help a little bit more with balancing your blood sugar levels, just a little bit of cinnamon, because this is really, really good for making sure um, to keep your blood sugar levels in check. And then also just to bring out some of the flavours, I'm just going to put a little bit of salt. And then this is the moment of truth. We're going to whiz it up. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do this part the front. So we'll give it a turn this on and just blend. Yeah, I was right. There's too much all in one go. So what I'm going to do is just take some out. I told you I was winging it. This is, I haven't done this before. I'm going to take some of the nuts out. Just so it gives itself a little bit more room. Because what we want to be making now is really like sticky, smooth mixture. So we can ride in these little balls then. So let's try again. And um, so we're going to start that. So once you've mixed it all up, so I did about 30 seconds on each batch, um, it should kind of have the consistency of like really, really little tiny grains of sand, I guess, of all of the cacao, the nuts, everything in there. So we'll just pop that into the and what I'll do then is I'll show you then really super simple how then you're going to make your energy balls. So all you're going to do is get some of the mixture, this is a fun bit, and just roll it into a little ball. Obviously you can do any size you want. Um, I might make some big ones and small ones depending on how hungry I am. 
um, and that's basically it. So you can keep these in the fridge for about five days. Um, you can have them after your evening meal um, or as a snack throughout the day. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully you want to try this at home. If you do try it, maybe take a photo of it and share it with me. Um, and watch this space because I'll be bringing some more recipes to you um, soon. So thanks very much and speak to you soon.